Hi, and welcome to Introduction to Photosynthesis. In this video, I will explain the process of photosynthesis and its two reactions, the light-dependent and light-independent reactions. Photosynthesis is where plants use the energy from the sunlight to make its own food. Photosynthesis occurs within chloroplasts, which is found in most plant cells. Inside chloroplasts, membrane stacks called thicoids are stacked in interconnected piles called grana. Within these stacks, photosynthesis takes place. The process of photosynthesis is just a series of reactions. These reactions occur in two different stages, the light-dependent and the light-independent. The first set of reactions is called the light-dependent reactions. The light-dependent only occurs in the presence of sunlight. This reaction starts inside of the cycloids. When sunlight is absorbed, it gives off high-energy electrons. These electrons move through an electron carrier protein called electron transport chain. This chain pumps hydrogen ions into the thicoid space and through another channel called ATP synthase. This makes a phosphate group bond to an ADP molecule to form ATP, ATP molecules. At the end of the electron transport chain, NADP positive molecules pick up the high energy electrons and hydrogen ions to form NADPH. This molecule is able to carry the high energy electrons to the second stage of photosynthesis. The light independent reaction is the second set of reactions in photosynthesis. They are often referred to as the Calvin cycle in honor of Melvin Calvin, the scientist who discovered the pathways of photosynthesis. This reaction uses the energy that was converted from light in the first stage of photosynthesis and can be completed without a light source. As you can see, these two reactions that occur during photosynthesis work together. The light independent reaction uses the chemical energy and carbon dioxide to build a long term stable energy source like glucose and other carbohydrates. The process of photosynthesis and cellular respiration are both necessary for the survival of life on Earth. In comparing the two reactions, they appear to be complete opposites in many ways. Although the individual steps of the processes are not opposites, the reactant, reactants of one overall process are the products together. These two processes work together to harvest the energy from the sunlight, package it into chemical molecules, and break down those molecules to power growth, movement, and functions of all organisms and their cells. Photosynthesis converts solar energy to stored chemical energy, and cellular respiration converts that stored chemical energy to ATP, an energy molecule used directly by the cell.